हेलो सलाम शलोम नमस्ते सस्यकाल अलोहा ओला चाओ बॉन्जर बुना एंड प्रीवियट इट्स रियली रियली गुड टू बी विथ यू एंड यू नो वाट टुडे इज एन एक्स्ट्रा 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 स्पेशल एपिसोड बिकॉज नॉट ओनली डू वी हैव अ वन रियली अमेजिंग स्पेशल गेस्ट वी हैव two really amazing special guests with us today and and taylor uh who are certified health coaches and my gosh i'm so excited to have you guys welcome thank you so much thank you how are you doing today ah uh, doing fabulous and very very happy and excited to be chatting with you guys today about the amazing topic that we're going to be talking about But before we get into that let me invite you to just share more about who you are and what you do. Okay, well, um <laughs> this is my wife Anne and I'm Kayla Morgan. We've been married uh, about 7 years now. And um growing up I was an athlete um and she I grew up in northern Mexico. She grew up in the Philippines. We met here in Texas and so um but basically growing up i was an athlete lived in northern new mexico and uh went to school uh here in texas and um it was uh when i was actually in high school i actually hurt my knee very badly i i was an athlete you know so um it, what what happened is i ended up getting into music and then coming down to texas and year after year after year i basically gained weight I wasn't living very healthy had really bad habits uh from when I used to exercise a whole bunch and um I did my undergrad at West Texas A&M and then I came down here to uh Denton Texas and in that time um Ann and I met and I was teaching over here at the the university and um just gaining weight year after year after year and uh like I said in that time we got um married and it was shortly after our first year that I started to have some serious uh health problems uh with something called diverticulitis and um it went on check for about a month gave me a lot of heart issues and other kidney problems and things like that so um during that time we looked this is about 2016 uh we spent about 2 years looking for diets looking to try and lose weight to try and uh do anything i could to really get the weight off and i would exercise it hurt and then try and get into keto um and it would just aggravate my diverticulitis and my cholesterol and this went on for about two and a half years to one time i actually couldn't beat it and had to be uh hospitalized once again um to take care of blood pressure and things like that right after that we started to get involved with um health coaching and uh the person i met that got us actually involved in health coaching and helped me get uh healthy even though uh, after that I had one more episode where I uh, basically almost the hind the back of an ambulance and that was really the big mindset shift I think is when that episode happened and so um shortly after that we found uh the right program and we found the right people it took me about 4 months to get off all the medications about, an, about another 8 months I had lost uh I I took about a year almost uh but I lost 140 pounds and this is almost 3 years ago now And so um when that happened that was when Ann was like this is this is our calling this is something we can do this is something that we can help people with because we knew a lot of unhealthy people would you like to speak to that real quick Yes really that that was a waking up call so that gave us a sense of purpose that we have something to offer to the world because we have been in that situation we have been stopped and we didn't know what to do <laughs> right and so um that was uh, about 3 years ago and since then we've helped about 120 people beat disease ob- obesity um and just reclaim their health and it's something that we love to do and uh we we really turned it into our our mission so that's that's really what we're about and we We have no problems with who you are, where you are, what you do, anything like that. If you need help, we're we're here to help you because um we're in a, we're we're kind of we we were in a very bad spot and if it weren't for my personal coach to help that we found us bring us out of that. And so that's where we really 
decided that, uh, yeah, we, we can actually do uh, some real good here in this world, in this country, uh, by helping people with uh, basically mind, body, and spirit, uh, but mind, healthy mind, healthy body, but healthy finances as well. That is so amazing. And thank you for sharing your journey. And I mean, my gosh, you definitely are my kind of people. You went through like amazing struggle in your life, but you use that as an opportunity to not only create positive change in your life, but now you're helping other people. Like that's the definition of a change maker for me. And uh, my gosh, I just love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank <laughs> you. you are, yeah. We're, we're happy that we connected with you for sure. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you know what? I I would love to dig more into this whole problem that, you know, is existing in our country. I mean, in the world in general, but I think especially in our culture, this is like such a huge problem where, you know, there's so much negativity about our bodies and just lack of good information about how to be healthy and you know just be well in our lives and take control of our wellness of our health what do you see as like one of the core problems that sort of leads to all this hey thanks for tuning into this episode hope you're getting value out of it for your information, this episode has been sponsored by the Happiness 101 program. Are you a change maker, coach, trainer, or healer? Are chains of fear holding you back from making the impact and income you desire? Using a unique combination of positive psychology and the spiritual wisdom of our most effective change makers, the Happiness 101 program helps you break through your limiting beliefs and manifest the abundance and success you desire with fun and ease. Interested? Book a free Happiness 101 exploration call with me, your happiness expert, Samya Vano. Just use my online calendar link in the show notes. Now back to the show. So um, definitely the, the biggest challenge that we have is, is just the mentality of uh, people I'm going to go because we deal we we deal with a lot of people who, who lived in America. They may not necessarily be Americans, but it's something about here just being in this country for a long time, um, and it's this mentality of willing to kind of compromise your health and everything else. Um, that is our biggest challenge: is really helping people change their mind that yes, they can be healthy, and that um, too that they've been set up for failure. Okay. Yeah. And so um, we, it's a very fine line, of course, uh, here in, <laughs> in this country, because uh, body shaming is a very real thing. And it's a very detrimental thing to especially young children. Uh, but most people, you know, none of us expect to be, uh, none of us really deserve that. I mean, of course, it's a horrible thing. But um, it's unfortunately, it's moved into something called the body positivity movement. And mm -hmm. as much as I want to say, yeah, we all have different body types. And I know that we have kind of like our Greek uh, ideals of what man should look like and what woman should look like. Uh, but it's basically um, getting getting in that uh, uh, through people's head that um, it's this is a this is a bad thing. And it's and it's led to a lot of really bad problems. And, and the biggest pro is where it's been uh, shown to ha have been really detrimental to our society is when the pandemic hit when COVID hit, um, we were not even encouraged during that entire time to get healthy. A lot of us weren't even allowed to really go outside and get vitamin D from the sun, which CDC now tells us that this is important to fight. We all know that it's important to fight diseases, but you can look at the reaction of our country to something like uh, the pandemic. And it was one of stay inside, don't worry about your health, 
wait for a miracle cure mm. and things like this as opposed to being proactive and so um it, it's part of it is changing people's mentality to be proactive with their own health. I think you touched on that just, and it's about creating health and that's what we want to help people do. Create good health, not be reactive towards certain problems and things like that, certain problems with their health. Would you like to? I um, like that uh, this, you see the word not to be reactive, but proactive, <laughs> right? We cannot control what is happening around us, but you can control our decision and our choices. And I'm really so inspired with the transformation of my husband, <laughs> my awesome husband, <laughs> because he he was from that situation. Yeah. And I saw the struggle and that mentality before, before that mindset shifted, he thought it's okay because I, he thought that's what his body is meant to be <laughs> like yeah. big, big and she, guy. And she loved me we were married you know like, <laughs> like that was big kind guy. Of, yeah. and so when that mind shift shifted it's just like oh that's not true we have yeah. the capacity to reach our healthy bmi <laughs> and, and <laughs> to it, get healthier <laughs> yeah and it took me three probably kind of near-death experiences until i finally woke up to the reality of what it was so yeah. I, I am. I myself was among the most stubborn um, uh, to to do this, and so that's that's why we one of the reasons we really feel that we can actually reach people. But um, yeah, and and really, when it comes down to the mindset shift, we we help people. We do assessments and we help them identify these things. But the my thing is the the, the big why. What is your reason to do any of this? And like that's really the biggest thing to identify. One with the mindset is to identify what is your big why for me it was completely totally my wife oh. and you know and just being alive and being there for her and our extended family uh for some people it could be um career there's everybody has their own uh why? reasons for doing <laughs> things but that's what we uh we do with our assessments is we help you uh break out of that mentality by really identifying well if this really matters to you this much a lot of people we, we work with a lot of religious people from all all walks of life and uh you know we we all accept uh for all the for those of us who believe that the, the body that we are god's temple right yeah. and we want to respect god's temple so yeah. um getting towards people's mindset and getting to shift just little things at, at a time um is kind of what we do that's our biggest challenge but at the same time we don't overwhelm people we we also believe in in healthy habits and you, you we, your show is we're making change fun and easy the hard part is kind of confronting the truth mm. about that you're being bombarded with ads and propaganda to eat unhealthy food yeah. um and so once you once you kind of face that and deal with that making those changes in your life gets easier and becomes i wouldn't say maybe not easy but simple it's it's mm -hmm. a pretty black and white choice and so that's what we try to make it do and with our program people usually see results fairly quickly so it inspires them even further but when they lose inspiration when they lose motivation that's where we step in with the discipline they're quite literally disciples of ours you bank on your teaching so the way we we don't want to we don't want to harp on oh this is bad in our society or corporatism is horrible uh, crony capitalism is, is destroying this and that while these things are true while it's important to realize that we want to be very positive and, and let people know that it making change is just it's one day at a time it's one habit at a time and that you're you don't have to feel bad you don't have to feel guilty about anything it's just a simple mindset shift but finding the right coach finding and being in the right community is yeah. very very important because that's the other thing that i would say that the biggest challenge to this is actually dealing with people's local support systems when they don't have good support and oftentimes their family are the ones we call it the crab in the bucket syndrome <laughs> people they're trying to climb out and they're just being dragged by, back down and and I, we can tell you specifically we have one person that we're really hoping becomes our client um she's very worried about her eight-year-old he's he's already over 100 pounds bless his little heart and she was telling us that when she goes to McDonald's and doesn't eat fries, he's quite literally worried for her health because, mm. and, and, and it, that was really astounding to me because that is the mentality and it's drilled into us for little kids. It's like, you, you know, you eat the fries, it's good for you. If you don't, we're yeah. worried, mom's not going to get the calories. And so 
Um, right. While it's it's very easy to point the finger and say this and this and this and that, it's it's very much about making just positive and good choices in your life, and it, it starts yeah. right here. Yeah, you know, my gosh, you raised so many, so many excellent <laughs> points. I think one of the for things that you mentioned that I, I would love to just sort of highlight is that, you know, on the one hand, the body positivity movement, I mean, just the term body positivity, it's like, wow, you're talking about being positive about your body. Surely that's a good thing. But what you are highlighting here is that people can take that like way too far and use that as an excuse to not take responsibility for, for, you know, basically doing the best they can with what they know, what they have to be healthy um, and take better care of their bodies. That I think, my gosh, that is, that is so important. That is, oh my gosh. Yeah. That, well said. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Because, and then also you, you raise this really amazing point about, I guess it's like, I don't want to use the word balance, but there's this sort of two, two aspects to like, like how and what is sort of like influencing us and uh, so on the one hand, of course, it's our internal personal beliefs and mindset and so forth. But then there are all these like outer circumstances and systems, you know, it, it, just yesterday I was actually having a conversation during an event on racism where, you know, we were talking about race, but we were also talking about class and how these things intersect and how on the one hand for sure there is a personal responsibility aspect to these things but on the other hand there's all these systemic issues that um you know create a lot of the problems that we are stuck in in the first place and so the really like you mentioned really ultimately one of the, what you have to do to to, to create change or, whether it's a personal level or whether it's at the systemic level, you know, you have to, first of all, educate yourself. You have to get the right education, the right understanding of what the real problem is. And then you can begin to implement the right solutions. Yeah, that's a really wonderful point. Um, and I think that there is a, a kind of parallel, like mm -hmm. when we uh, had civil rights back in 64 in this country, a lot of the systems in place were never changed. They were still uh, built during the, you know, um, and uh, I'm not going to get the whole bail bond issue, but if you kind of look, same thing happened with health. There's been a huge health push in this country. Yeah. There really has, but a lot of companies are a way to get organic. Uh, salt is low sodium, you know, maybe fat free, sugar free, and it's going to be really unhealthy for you in a whole multitude of ways. And so uh, in that very same way, even though there might have been uh, a big healthy conscious push in this country, the systems uh, which were drag it down have never been addressed, you know, and um, and I, and on, you know, I mean, it, it, it's kind of like the dentist who owns stock in a candy company. Like, you know, you, it, makes you, it makes you wonder, you know, these people who are pushing out their body positivity, do they own stock in big pharma? The, the, you know, the, the people that are really going to profit off of this. And so, um, you know, I'm not trying to cut into people's profits. You know, I mean, it is what it is, what it is. But yeah, that's we 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 definitely have a mission, and um, I think that there's a there's a lot of uh, there's definitely a lot of overlap. But yeah, when it comes to just dealing with um, American society in general, there's a lot of brilliant and a lot of beautiful things about our society. But obviously, there's a lot of work to be done. And the, the most frustrating thing is, is that it could be done so easy. We yes, I think as a nation, we could easily afford it and we could take charge and lead this stuff. And I don't know why we don't, but yeah. um, that's that that's not for me to say right now. What we do is we work on us, we work on our local community and we, we build up from there. Right. And I like that logo that you have your theme, yeah. make change fun and easy. Right. Because yeah. while 
we were struggling about this transformation before, we uh, tried a lot of diet, as mm. he mentioned. But with this program, it's proven that it's really successful and there's a predictable result. It's because of the important components. Mm. Like you have a coach that will make you accountable. <laughs> we are partnering with this client and we'll, we would like them to be successful. We would like them to win. And we are there to support every step of the way. The mm. community is very important to make change fun and easy. Yeah. surrounded with the same like-minded people will really be easier. I don't think this one or me will have that a good ship if we don't support one another. Yes. We are just so blessed to have that. We have like-minded people like community in our health coaching community. Yeah. And we're so blessed to be part of that. And of course, nutrition and all that macro habits is just one aspect also. And of course, as you said, learning, be open to learn, fuel yourself with motivation, with positivity. And so you will not be dried. <laughs> and that makes it easy. Yeah. <laughs> right. And fun. And yeah. fun. <laughs> right. you, can, you can do body positivity in the right way, in the good way. Where, you know, like I know, for example, like for me, shame and guilt don't work as um motivations for change <laughs> in fact there's like so much research that shows that like shame and guilt they just make you feel bad but they don't want to actually do anything to motivate you to create positive change it just makes you feel worse and worse and you get actually stuck in this like very negative cycle that just just brings down your energy and just makes change more hard um, to happen. And so like, I never want to, you know, follow any kind of program for any kind of change making that makes me feel ashamed or guilty, uh, you know, about my body or any other aspect of my life. Um, and at the same time, like you said, to, to take, still take responsibility for myself, for my wellness, and do it in a way that, you know, is really empowering and promotes my happiness and my health. Oh, so that is so yeah. cool. Yeah. And what you were saying about having the support, my gosh, that's always my number one tip for how to make change fun and easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Find the right people. Yeah. Yeah. Not not easy sometimes, but once you do, yeah, mm. for sure. So, yeah. um, well, we would be remiss if we didn't give at least three good health tips. And so, I'm Ooh. I'm gonna my my top three are gonna be, um, be careful with your nutrition. Know what's on the end of your fork. Okay, try to get full days vitamins in if you can, and you don't have to eat low sodium. But if you watch your salt intake and you watch your cholesterol take these usually go hand in hand and you can still eat very deliciously so one nutrition two hydration we encourage everybody to at least drink uh eight, if not half their body weight in the ounces of water we try to get 64 ounces of water okay mm -hmm. and then uh, the last one for me is i'm a uh i'm a walking junkie as i say i'm a prolific walker so uh me personally i like to do about thirty-two thousand steps a day Wow. just to keep everything moving but motion just moving around talking standing up getting more is very very important so to lose weight correctly you don't really need exercise to get in shape you just need motion you need to move and not be sedentary so um like i like i've still got the knee problems i really can't run all that much but i can walk and i do and i this is uh today will be the longest that i sit down uh this is probably been the longest i've sat down <laughs> in a very long time so um but yeah, like those, and it's, and it's easy. It's just, and then one thing at a time, one thing at a time. So nutrition, hydration, motion, and if you can, good sleep, you know, oh, um, yes. things like that. Would you like to add anything? Wait, before yes, you add really anything more, that. can I just highlight, can I just highlight something? So what no. you said about motion, my God, that is so important that, you know, motion doesn't have to mean exercise in like a formal kind of a way because 
it makes me think about the research in the blue zones. If you have heard about uh, for people and listeners who may not be familiar with that, there are actually, um, I'm blanking on the name of the primary researcher, but basically there's this like whole research that got done where researchers went and looked all over the world to find the most healthy, longest living, happiest people in the world. And they found that there were like certain zones in the world, certain areas of the world where the vast majority of the people living long lives, but not just living long lives, they're healthy, they're happy, you know, they're like vital uh, in, in the way that they are living and feeling. And one of the most important things that they found out about their lifestyle was that, yeah, these people, they don't necessarily like go to the gym and, you know, exercise in the way that we think about in America, but these people are very active uh, in, in their lifestyles. They like, um, like will do all kinds of things that require them, for example, to bend and sit on the floor and then get up again, or, you know, and just be moving around to do other normal everyday houseworks and so forth uh, for them. And that is more than enough to keep them <laughs> fed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Movement. Yeah. Yeah. It's very important. It you can actually burn more calories through movement, not through exercise than yeah. exercising. Yeah. yeah. I just like this book too because this is one of our uh, oh, favorite books health. that uh, really help us optimal health. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dr. Lina, aud right audible version yeah. as well. But, yeah. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, that's thank you for giving that reference. Okay, and Anne, sorry I interrupted you. Please share your amazing tips with us as well. I really support my husband's uh, tip. For me, I'll back to know your why. Why do you want to make a change? Why do you need to make a change? For him, if he didn't realize that I'm his wife, <laughs> I don't know if he will still be like waking up in the middle of the night and eat ice cream, right? <laughs> and so no, the why that makes the clear vision. Yeah. And then believe that you can achieve, believe that you can do it. It's the mindset again, right? Yeah. The emotions. Yeah. And then do it with fun. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be celebrate it. Or, yeah. Celebrate yes. any, even a little success. Celebrate, and it will accumulate. If you are one percent better than yesterday, that is three hundred sixty-five better for the whole year. Yeah. Right. So celebration to add more fun to the process. I love it. I love it. Because when you have to, when you celebrate in order for you to celebrate, there's so much that goes into it. Like you have to have awareness of what you have to celebrate. You know, you have to be tapped into a certain, what I call gratitude attitude <laughs> to mm -hmm. have that awareness of what to celebrate. And when you are celebrating, that is also a way to be grateful. And um, I, I just. Let's add, uh, let's add something. Sorry. Yeah, I interrupt go ahead. You. Do not celebrate with much ice cream and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> when we celebrate with all those, then we go back to our old habits, right? right. There are a way, there are a lot of ways to celebrate. Mm -hmm. just, yes, <laughs> that is such an excellent point. That is such an excellent point. I remember when I started working on being more health conscious and so forth. Um, I actually went to a health center and learned about healthy eating and all that. It really, really benefited me. And I will say like for about three years, I was like super, super um, like, um, what's the word, like compliant with like all the things that I had learned. And I was very enthusiastically following everything that I had learned. And I was for sure feeling the very awesome impacts of that. And then what happened was we had a whole slew of weddings happen in my family, like a whole bunch of my cousins, one after the other, one after the other, got engaged, scheduled their weddings, 
they were getting married. The first wedding that happened in that slew of weddings, I was like, you know, I'm doing so amazingly well. <laughs> my cousin's getting mar married. She's one of the people I love the most in my life. I want to be fully present and celebrate everything and, uh, you know, every way with her. And so I was like, I'll just make a special occasion exception <laughs> and, uh, you know, deviate for the special occasion from some of my eating healthy uh, rules that I'd been following for the last three years. I made that one special occasion exception and I could, my gosh, not go back <laughs> to <laughs> being the, you know, because it was just like, just one thing after another after another and there the special occasion exceptions just kept happening and happening and happening and you know so then it like literally took me years to recover <laughs> from that <laughs> oh it, well yeah. weddings are fun <laughs> should celebrate it's okay <laughs> you're back on track <laughs> yeah and, you know, I, I think, you know, for sure, the one of the big challenges why it took me so long to recover from that was because I had lost touch with my support community, that mm -hmm. health center community that, you know, I'd learned to be healthy with in the first place. And so I literally had to start working with another nutrition and health coach <laughs> before I could get back on track. So for, uh, you know, anyone who is listening, <laughs> learn from our experience, my experience, Taylor's experience, Anne's experience, and, um, you know, just want to emphasize again the importance of having the right support system, having a right, you know, a good coach who knows what they're talking about, who's been there, done that in terms of achieving the health and wellness that you desire, um, you know, just yeah, sign up with them. <laughs> Change your life. Especially yeah. our goal is not just to lose that weight, but to optimize it for longevity. Long yeah. 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 that, that, the time that you're losing the weight, getting healthy, we're teaching you how to stay healthy, how to keep implementing habits of health. So that way, when you reach your target goal, you're set up for success. And that's as simple as that. Like, then that's what we want. We don't, you know, we, we want to get you there and we want to make sure you're not a lifelong customer and keep coming back. We want to get you there and make sure that, and uh, hopefully uh, what we really like is that once you get there, that you would also like to pay it forward like us. Right. That's, that, that, that's yeah. really what we, what we hope for. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And actually by paying it forward, you can, you can remain in that kind of energy and environment because when you begin to help other people, then that makes you feel that sense of responsibility, you know? I know it, that's how it is with me and my it work is. as a happiness expert. You know, I'm like, I cannot with integrity teach other people how to be happy and let my own <laughs> mental health slide. <laughs> and so when my mental health begins to slide, I'm like, oh no, Samia, come on. Gotta pick it back up, stay on our toes, keep growing. Um, you know, not just stay at one level, but actually keep growing in my ability to be happy and healthy um, so that, you know, I can with integrity continue to teach and share what I have learned with other people. Yeah. And the good thing that we always uh, we are proud of when the client reach their ultra BMI, yeah, they're still like liberated and reclaim their health, they're empowered. Mm. and sustain and thrive yeah. not just to exist and everything and everything improves yeah. across the board it's so relationships priceless. Job, yeah. <laughs> priceless what a mission that is thank you for sharing that that perspective of you know paying it forward that is so important that is so important and you're modeling that so beautifully in your life so i really appreciate that Thank you. Oh, cool. Okay. So um, do you have any anything else that you would like to share with our listeners for today? Not too late to make change. Health is an investment. <laughs> and we are here. Yeah. 
your health is an investment and always be excellent to each other. <laughs> yes. Yes. Change is great. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm making all that. We'll say uh, Pilen Dank and Merci beaucoup and uh, uh, Muchas Gracias and uh, Salam sal 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 Apo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. We, we Thank really enjoyed you. Uh, speaking with you and um, stay in touch for sure. And um, we're, we're looking forward to, uh, we, we caught a couple of your episodes. We'll, we'll, we'll get caught up. And um, so, uh, but uh, we'll keep, keep tabs on you and uh, please have us back. We'd love to come back. <laughs> ah, thank you. You're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for sure. I would love to have you guys back. And also for all of our listeners, please know that we are going to be adding Anne and Taylor's uh, links in the show notes. So make sure you check out the show notes so you can get in touch with them and get the help and support you need to become more healthy and just increase your wellness and life in all, all ways. So until we connect next time, I wish you lots and lots of peace and joy.